Hi everyone! My name is Teacher Caroline and today I'm going to take you on a shape walk through my neighborhood. I made a special necklace with different shapes on it to help me find shapes while I'm hiking. At the end of the video, I'll show you how you can make one too. Before we get started, let's take a closer look at our shapes. I'll point to each one, and if you recognize the shape, you can say its name with me. Circle, triangle, star, heart, rectangle, half circle, oval, and square. Okay, now that we know what shapes we're looking for, let's see how many we can find. Not everything has to be an exact match. I found this maple leaf on the ground, and even though it's not a perfect star, I think it kind of matches. I see they have the same number of points. One, two, three, four, five. What do you think? This plant is called bleeding heart because some people think the flower looks like a heart. Let's check our, our shape and compare. What do you think? Does it look like a heart to you? Do you see why someone might have named it that? I'm gonna see if I can find any shapes on this fallen log. It looks like a good spot to look for shapes. Let's see, what can we find? Hmm, I think that that hole in the stump looks like a circle. What do you think? Do you see any other shapes that I'm not noticing? Let me know, let me know what I missed. The end of the stump kind of looks like a heart. How interesting. Found some berries, and I can't decide. Do they look more like circles or like ovals to you? What do you think? Here's a leaf that really reminds me of a star. Do you see the resemblance? Do you think it looks like a star? This leaf is called thimbleberry. And it's one of the softest leaves in the forest. If you find it, you should gently touch it with your science finger and see if you think it feels soft. The planks on this boardwalk remind me of rectangles, and so do the steps up ahead. What do you think? I'm learning that fallen logs are a really great place to find circles. Do you have any in your neighborhood? I found a lot of shapes in this park, but I still haven't found a triangle. I wonder where we can find one of those. Let's keep walking and see. What about this cottonwood leaf? It's close, but triangles have points and this one has a curve. So I think we can do better. How about that one? That's close. If you don't live in a place with a lot of nature, that's okay. Look, I found a square on a chain link fence. You can find shapes everywhere. I see a lot of circles in this patch of grass. What about you? How many circles can you see? I think this rock is triangle shaped. It's still not totally perfect because this isn't a straight line, but I think this is a pretty great triangle. Thanks for coming on my hike. If you'd like to do this with your family, I am also sending out a printer file that you can use to print out your own shapes. If you want to cut them out and make a necklace like I did, you can. And that's a really great way to do some scissor practice. If you're still practicing using scissors and aren't ready to cut out all of these shapes yet, that's okay. You can get a grown-up to help, or you could just take the printer paper and see if you can match them up that way. 
you also don't have to use the same shapes that I did. There are lots of other shapes in nature. You could try hexagons or octagons. You could try diamonds. There are all kinds of shapes out there just waiting for you to find them. Which ones are you going to look for? Let me know in the comments.